Hi, and welcome to Basic Works. I'm Clyde, and today we're going to talk about the difference between buying a pre-owned mobile home versus a new mobile home. Stay tuned. During the video, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. Let's get rolling. Okay, the first thing we want to cover is new manufactured home. You'll hear people all over the world talking about Oh, don't buy a new mobile home. Man. You're going to lose money. It's a bad investment. Blah, 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 blah. Look, first of all, you're not buying a home as an investment. You want to invest in something, go play in the stock market. A home is a home, and that's where somebody lives. Some people are just all wound up that, oh, everything in the world is just about making money. That's not the case. If you go out and buy a new mobile home today, it will decrease in value and it will decrease sharply for the first couple of years. But like Warren Buffett says, you only lose money if you sell. So the key point is make sure that you're buying this home and you're staying there for years and years and years. You're not buying this to turn around a year later and flip it. That's not what homes are for. Now, I would highly recommend to everybody to purchase a pre-owned home that's a few years old. Along the same lines, let me point out to all of those people out there who want to badmouth mobile homes losing money. Let me just remind them of the year 2006. Maybe that rings a bell. When people were paying $400,000 for a home that was worth three hundred. dollars You want to talk about losing money? Think back a little bit. When you're looking at a new mobile home, you're also comparing it to what else is on the market because a home is a home is a home. So let's say you're looking at a new double wide and it's 2000 square feet. Okay. And let's say it costs 130,000 for the new manufactured home. If you look at the housing market today, you're going to realize it's overinflated. When people are paying 250000 for a rancher that's 1,200 square feet, housing is overinflated. So if you can buy a new double wide for 130000 let's say, that's 2,000 square feet, it doesn't make much sense to pay 250000 for a rancher on a piece of land that's say a quarter of an acre for twice the money. So keep all these things in mind when you hear people saying, Oh, yeah, mobile homes are a bad investment. No one should ever buy them. There's a lot of that you can just ignore. So I know the next thing these geniuses are going to say is, well, what about lot rent? What about lot rent? Well, what about property tax? Because when you're buying a $250,000 rancher, they don't go by the square foot and say, oh, you know, your property tax will only be $10 a year. No, they base it off the price that you pay for that because it's sitting on a piece of land. You're going to pay property taxes on it. Now, I know this varies state by state by state. Some places, property taxes are lower. But I'm in Pennsylvania and property taxes are a big piece of the value of a house. You may have found the perfect park that you want to live in because you went out, you looked around and you found the park that's great. There may not be any pre-owned ones for sale. Let me give you an example. Today in the park I live in, there are no pre-owned ones for sale, not one. There's one new one. You could be in a situation like that where let's say 
you recently sold your other house and you're looking for a place to live now that's going to be your new home, you could find yourself in a situation where the only thing for sale in the part that you want is a new one. Or you may simply want to buy the new one because it's the current style, everything in it's brand new. There'll be some warranty stuff on the new home, your furnaces, etc., etc., and everything would be in perfect working condition now because you're buying it new. When I think about buying a pre-owned one, which uh, I recently did just buy another pre-owned one, um, one of the first things I do is I go through and I replace the appliances and stuff. Sure, that's a cost out of pocket, but it gives you the peace of mind that these appliances and everything are good for the next 15 years or so. Another possible benefit of buying the new manufactured home is that there are institutions that will do lending on those. And you find out immediately as soon as you talk to that manufacturer who's selling it, they have banks and stuff lined up who will do the financing on them. Now, that's a couple of points on the new manufactured home. I strongly suggest that people buy pre-owned mobile homes. That way, if you got in a situation just two or so years later that you decided to sell it and move, you're not losing money because mobile homes are a lot like cars. When you buy a new car and drive it off at a lot, it's going to drop in value rapidly for the first few years. But once it gets to a, a point, like a bottom point, it maintains value for years simply because it's a car. After a certain amount of time with mobile homes, they maintain value just because it's a home. Let me give you a quick example of that. The home that I just purchased in 2019, the owners who had it before me in 2017 paid 52,000 for this house. When I was looking for a home in 2019, I paid 58,000. So there's a perfect example of how you're not going to lose money on a mobile home when you're buying it pre-owned. They actually sold it for a higher price than they paid for it. Part of that was due also to the housing market climbing during those years. You'll hear a lot of people going, oh, oh, mobile homes don't go up in value. They don't go up in value. Well, this one went up in value from 2017 to 2019. Keep that in mind. Another good thing about a pre-owned home is you can do some minor upgrades to it while you're living there. There'll be things you want to upgrade. You might want to put down some new carpet, some new linoleum. You might want to add a deck onto it. You might buy a new shed for it. All of these things are going to help it increase in value for the day when you do go to sell it. So this was just a short discussion on the differences between the new manufactured home and the pre-owned manufactured home. Hope this helped you out. Hit that like and subscribe. I'll catch you the next time.